Another superhero film with young people learning about their powers in order to save the world. Sheesh, where have I heard of that one before? What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to yet another brand new movie review. It's Disney Plus time here on the channel, as today we are looking at Secret Society of the Second Born Royals. Sheesh, what a mouthful that was. Our main hero in this movie is Sam. She's a rebellious princess who is stunned to learn that she has superpowers and belongs to a secret society with a long-standing tradition of covertly keeping the peace throughout the kingdom. Now before I get any further into this review, I want to thank you all so much for clicking on it and stopping by. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. As you guys are aware by this point, I am so stoked to be here on this medium discussing cinema and all things entertainment with you guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys want to continue discussing these things with me, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can. And we can continue discussing all these really fun topics together. So... Obviously, the most glaring thing to notice about Secret Society of the Second Born Royals is the big comparison to the X-Men franchise. And trust me, with all these similar plot elements to the X-Men, it is bound to get those comparisons sooner or later. And I find it really strange that Disney actually went through and made this film, seeing as how they just bought 20th Century Fox and all the Marvel properties that went with it, the X-Men included. But nevertheless... Obviously, I love superhero films, so I was definitely open to this. And after watching through this movie once, I think it's fine. It's not It's not bad or anything. It's just... <sighs> Let's talk a little bit further about this, shall we? Now, this movie is not terrible by any stretch of the imagination at all. I actually, for the purposes of this review, want to actually switch things up and talk about my negatives first. Because my biggest issue with this movie... My biggest problem with this film is actually that first act, that first 15 minutes or so. Let me just say that stuff is a chore to get through. It was around that point where I noticed how cheesy the dialogue in this movie is. It's almost like it's a circa 2007 Disney Channel exclusive. It is that cringeworthy. I think that's actually one of my biggest issues with the entire film. It's actually the dialogue. I feel like it's almost too on the nose. Like, as we're watching it, certain things will be shown to us, and then after we pretty much learn about it after being shown that, they pretty much have additional dialogue explaining what we just learned. And I'm just sitting there watching watching it and I'm like, okay, I get it. I, I understand where we're going with this. You don't need to over explain it. In a sense, I kind of wish these screenwriters placed a little bit more trust in their audience. Because honestly, without these over explanations, I understood everything that went on in this movie perfectly fine. And yeah, this movie does make a lot of references to other movies throughout. Like, obviously I said the X-Men films are going to be the main comparison this movie is going to get for sure, just based on the content. But even besides that, there are so many different pop cultural references throughout this movie. Like, there's a line about the Batcave once they actually get to the school and once they get underground. There's even a line about the freaking Breakfast Club once they first reach the school. I mean... Come on now. This is just another issue I had with this script. The movie just seems to keep wanting to remind me that I could be watching a superior film. And that's a damn shame because now getting into the positives of this movie, I found myself enjoying this film a lot more than I was expecting going in. And that was a huge relief, especially after that chore of a first act. All I'll tell you guys without spoiling too much is that once Skylar Astin pops up in this movie as the teacher, things really start start to pick up, I promise you. And I loved Skylar Astin in this film. He reminds me a lot of that really cool drama teacher a lot of you must have had in high school. He's approachable, he's likable, he's charismatic, and he's just so damn knowledgeable about this content he's teaching. He was truly great in this movie, as were all of the second-born royals, all of these young adult performers like Peyton Elizabeth Lee playing the lead Sam. All these kids are just throwing their freaking all into this material, which is so awesome to see. I also really love the team spirit that they bring together, and I really enjoy some of the powers that they have, too. You, of course, have your standard invisibility power, and I'm not going to spoil who gets it, but in relation to the script and who this person is as a character, 
It is so poetic. It makes all the sense in the world to me. But then you also have some pretty new powers that I was really fascinated by, including what I think is the most OP superpower I've ever seen. Again, not going to spoil whose character this is, but basically all they have to do is touch another person who has powers, and they basically like absorb their powers into them for a little bit, while basically handicapping them for the entire time that they have their power. That's like a cheat code almost. Obviously, I'm having a lot of fun talking about these powers, and honestly, these second-born royals and them learning about these powers, that was actually my favorite part of the entire movie. Seeing these kids learn about their powers and getting to bond with each other over these powers is just so fun to watch. And then once they actually get to put what they've learned into use, into action, the action scenes are pretty cool. It's not the greatest action I've ever seen in a superhero film, but they're not bad. They're pretty fun to watch. This is going to be a weird comparison, but this movie reminded me a lot of another Disney young adult film that came out about 15 years ago. It's a childhood guilty pleasure. And that's Sky High. Yeah, you guys remember this movie? The high school was like floating up in the clouds. It's a really ridiculous thing. Bruce Campbell plays the gym teacher. God, that movie's so awesome. I need to rewatch that movie again soon. I haven't seen it in a while. But Secret Society of Second Born Royals is nowhere near as fun as Sky High was, unfortunately. And that's because of what I mentioned earlier. Kind of the unoriginality in the concept and that really, really brutal first act really bogged this film down from being something truly special. But nevertheless, I didn't find this movie to be all that bad, honestly. I'm gonna give Secret Society of the Second Born Royals a C+. I think young adults especially will have a blast with this one. Like I told you guys already, it has its fun moments, but the super cons that are in this film are just too prevalent for me to ignore. But I don't know, maybe you guys will like this movie more than I did. It's on Disney Plus right now. If you guys really, really enjoy superhero movies like I do and you kind of want an alternative to the X-Men, I definitely think this one is at least worth a watch on Disney Plus. But yeah, feel free to give it a watch and let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comments section below. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know if you guys are also looking forward to seeing it. Also, what is your guys' favorite superhero movie? I would love to hear all those thoughts and discuss them with you guys all down in the comments there. And just one more reminder, if you guys want to continue discussing all these really fun topics with me, keeping up with my latest content, consider hitting that subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can. That way you don't miss any of my future updates. Once they're uploaded, you will know right away. And if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a big fat thumbs up on it on your way out. I'd appreciate that too. Guys, you're all awesome. Thank you all so much once again again for clicking on the video and tuning in. Thank you guys for your support of the channel so far up to this point. Look forward to more fun content coming to the channel very, very soon. And with all that being said, back talk, commence.